guys, so sorry I haven't made a video in a while. We had kind of a situation that made it very hard to film. <clears throat> and yeah, so in my last video, it was the day in the life. It was on September 20th, and as you could see, Caden was like very cranky and yeah, he was just not doing so well, and at the time, I didn't know, but he has an ear infection. I found out on the 22nd that he had an ear infection. So, yeah, I'll just get started from the 21st when he threw up. He was crying, and we didn't know what was wrong, so I went to go get him some Tylenol, and when I came back, he threw, was throwing up all over the floor. Luckily, it wasn't anything but the floor. Um, but, yeah. Well, and all over him, of course. But, yeah. He was throwing up, and it was so sad. Like, it was coming out. It was a lot. Sorry if this is TMI, but it was just... It was really sad. And, um... Dan picked him up, and we threw him in the bathtub... And we washed him up. He was crying the whole time. I felt so bad, but he was covered in puke. I had to wash him. So we washed him up and got him dry, put some nice jammies on him. And then Dan left because his dad was here um, to pick him up. And then Caden threw up again. And this time it was all over me, all in my hair, all like over him it was just so bad I'm like we just gave you a bath and now I can't have a shower because I have to take care of you and I was covered in puke and it was like disgusting so yeah then I just I didn't give him another bath because like what if he was gonna puke again so we not we I just washed him down with a wet washcloth and took his clothes off and then it was all over his blanket and he can't sleep without that blanket so I had to wash that as fast as I could so that he could have it but yeah that was pretty much the end of that day he was kind of whiny he was alright though and then the next day he around like supper time he is just getting so cranky he was crying uncontrollably nothing was helping my mom couldn't get him to stop i couldn't get him to stop like he wouldn't sleep he was breathing weird like he had like i don't know you could like hear him breathing it was just really it was weird and um i don't know he it was just really we couldn't get him to stop crying he looked like he was in a lot of pain so we took him to the er and this was on the 22nd yeah, the 22nd, which was a Monday, and he, like, was crying the whole time we were at there, at the, um, hospital, but in the car, on the way to the hospital, he was perfectly fine, he didn't cry, he was still breathing funny, but he wasn't crying, he was just sitting there, so we thought, oh, maybe he's alright, and then, but he was still breathing weird, so we took him anyway, and when we got there, he started screaming again like he could bef like he was before. I couldn't get him to stop. Nobody could get him to stop. He was so upset and so they took him in right away and they checked in his ears and asked a bunch of questions and they said that he had an ear infection. So they gave him some Tylenol. I don't know. They gave him like three different things like the ear infection stuff and then like some pain medication and some fever reducing stuff. Um... So, yeah, and as soon as he got that, he stopped crying. He's back to his normal self. I didn't think medicine worked that fast, but apparently it does. And, yeah, like, as soon as he took it, he just didn't cry after that. But since he was still breathing funny, we had to get an x-ray done on his lungs. And I'm just going to insert a picture right here of what Caden had to go in. So if you didn't know, if you've never had your baby have an x-ray, if you've never had your child have an x-ray, apparently they put them in this tube thing and it was so sad. I had tears in my eyes. My mom had tears in her eyes 
and it was just so horrible. I hated it. I never wanted to have to put Caden through that again or myself because it was so hard. He was crying. He was stuck in this tube with his arms up and it's not an actual tube but basically it looked like a tube and it was just so sad he couldn't move and he's not feeling well and it's just like torture so that was horrible but the good news is there's nothing wrong with his lungs or his chest or anything like that and his breathing went back to normal um but yeah that was a horrible experience i hated it probably more than Caden did um so yeah after that we had to stop by the drugstore and get his prescription and we got two bottles of his I don't know what's called like zero infection medication um, and we had to he has to take it for 10 days three times a day so this is our chart that I made for his medication and as you can see he's almost finished it he only has five more doses left and he's done so he had morning afternoon and night and basically he's almost finished and he's not as cranky anymore I mean he's still kind of cranky he still kind of pulls out his ear but uh, for the most part he's better so I can get back to making videos and all that stuff but yeah, it was pretty horrible. I didn't know having a baby who has an ear infection was going to be this hard. He was like, I thought he was cranky before. He definitely is cranky all the time, but this was over the top cranky. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to pull my hair out. It was horrible. I felt so bad for him. I tried to comfort him. Nothing helped. He slept in my bed with me for like, the first couple days after um probably like four days and now he's back in his crib and stuff so yeah it was just horrible so if you guys most of you guys probably didn't know he had an ear infection because um I didn't post it on Instagram I haven't been posting on Instagram since this happened so that um also, um, I did post it on Facebook, but I don't have very many followers on Facebook, so if you're not following me on Facebook, please do. The link's in the description below. Um, I will be, like, asking questions for, like, Q&A videos and stuff like that on there and all that. Um, so, yes. Um... But yeah, that's the only place I announced it was on Facebook and I only, I replied to one comment on the Day in Life video stating that he had an ear infection. When this video happened, it wasn't teething or anything, it was his ear infection. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoy this little update and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!